Gas was being produced in works like this, long before folk had electricity in their houses. All over the country, it was gas that brightened the streets, warmed the houses, welcomed the weary traveller. 24 hours every day in retorts like this, enough coal gas or town gas, as it was often called, was made for lighting and heating our houses and to keep the factories running. One furnace, or producer, as we used to call it, heated several of these retorts at the same time. But we staggered the filling times so that we could manufacture gas all around the clock. When it was filled, we left the retort for eight hours or so, and all this time, gas was being given off. It then went up these pipes to be cleaned before it was stored up in the gas holder. The size of the flame behind the glass would tell us when it was time to open up the retort again. We had to set fire to any gas left in the retort before we went any farther. Otherwise, there might have been a nasty accident or two. You know, they reckon that this was one of the smallest gas works in the whole of England. Well, it was certainly one of the prettiest. And we were among the last using hand-fired retorts. That means we did all the hard work ourselves. There were only four of us working here. But then we only had to turn one lorry load of coal into gas a week for about 300 or so customers. But, just like in the big works, we didn't let much go to waste. The stuff left in the retort after the gas was made was coke. All we had to do was cool it down and wheel it out, and folk would be waiting to buy it and burn it in their fireplaces. Lots of factories, schools and all sorts of other places liked it too. I'm not surprised. It did give off a fair bit of heat. Thing. Our producer needs his feeding too. So what better than the coke left over from making the gas? Right handy it was too. We didn't even have to carry it. Just rake it straight out. went on. Heat to make gas and coke, gas and coke to make folks' homes bright and comfortable, and to keep our factories going. And the same coke to heat the coal that produced the gas in the first place. Until, in the 1960s, the last load of coal was fed into the retorts. Natural gas had replaced town gas, and after more than a century of faithful service, the works closed down. 